Well, if everyone wants to just kind of gather around a little bit closer between the lovely items of merchandise clothing here at Kim and Ono, I want to give a big hand and thank you for Kim and Ono for hosting this today. This is a lovely shop. <laughs> Coming around. Um, I think this shop actually uh, is indicative of the type of change and kind of type of energy and need we he need here in Chinatown. This is a, an important time for the Chinese American community. This is an important time for Chinatown with the coronavirus happening. This is a piece where small business has a great opportunity to share what San Francisco has and what makes San Francisco so special. And so we're gathered here with a bunch of different people who are concerned about that and want to help out. This is a great time, a great city we live in, of course. Uh, with the weather great, uh, we could use a little bit of rain, but this has been a string of Chamber of Commerce days uh, for us here. So I want to welcome everybody. I'm just quick tell you a little story about my personal background, which is connected to small business and connected to Chinatown. In the 1950s, my grandfather opened a business and ran a business for many years called Tommy's Jewelers, right down the street here on Grant Avenue and Pacific. <clears throat> it was a very high-end jewelry store uh, that served uh, the community uh, with wedding sets, brooches, jade, encrusted diamond uh, parts, uh, jewelry. And uh, at that point, after that, my grandfather had purchased property down at Fisherman's Wharf. At that time, which is important to this conversation, purchasing property for Chinese Americans outside of Chinatown was looked down upon. And so he took that chance and took that risk. I want to make sure now that while we are entering into an area of potentially generalization, xenophobia, maybe even racism, that we not make judgment on uh, the color of skin, how you look, uh, but support all of San Francisco and all types of businesses. So the mayor just stepped away for a second. She's collecting her thoughts. You need a minute, okay. Um, but anyway, I just thank everybody for coming out here. Maybe we'll uh, switch up and have Aaron Peskin come up and go first if uh, that's great. So please welcome District 3 Supervisor Aaron Peskin. Uh, thank you, Rodney Fong, and thank you to the San Francisco Chamber of Commerce, to the Chinese Chamber of Commerce, uh, to Facebook, to my former colleagues, David Chu and Scott Weiner, uh, and to the mayor of the city and county of San Francisco uh, for doing yet again uh, what the Speaker of the House of Representatives did earlier this week, uh, that Mayor Breed did that last week, um, that I have been doing um, every day. As Betty Louie knows, um, I was in Chinatown earlier today uh, on the mission of making sure um, that our economy remains robust and vital during the time of coronavirus. Um, let me say and let me repeat what we all know. There are no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the city and county of San Francisco. Our Department of Public Health, our Department of Emergency Management um, is absolutely on it. Uh, we, as a preparatory matter, out of an abundance of caution, and the mayor and the board and Board President Yi are in absolute agreement that as a preparatory matter, we declared a state of emergency to make sure that we can unleash all of the resources that we need to make sure that our people are safe and healthy, that our economy remains vibrant, uh, and we are all deeply committed to the idea and to enforcing the fact that we will not tolerate rumors, we will not tolerate xenophobia, we will not tolerate racism in San Francisco. We are all in it together, and as one great American president said, the only thing to fear is fear itself, and we have nothing to fear. With that, the mayor of the city and county of San Francisco, London Nicole Breed. Thank you, Supervisor Peskin. Um, thank you so much for welcoming to your welcoming us to your uh, community where we know you spend a lot of time. In fact, uh, I started off earlier here at the VIP cafe where they have some of the best fried chicken that I've tasted. Absolutely amazing. Walk down Grant Street to the Far East Cafe to meet with some seniors from the Richmond District community, uh, the Golden Gate Park. Uh, senior Center, they're having a luncheon in Chinatown to provide uh, support to this community. And as Supervisor Peskin said, um, the fact is, ultimately, we care about being prepared. And we don't want the declaration of emergency 
to be used as something that it isn't. It is really about ensuring the safety of our residents if a case happens in our city. And the fact is, we have been on top of this issue every single day from the moment it was brought to our attention. Our emergency operations center was activated from day one with numerous calls that have been happening to understand and keep a sharp eye of what's happening with the coronavirus all over the world. And so part of what we want to make sure is that we are prepared, that we are able to, as Supervisor Pest can say, unleash the resources so that if a case occurs, we don't have to get ready, we are ready. We are ready in case it occurs. But in the meantime, I don't want us to live in fear. First of all, San Francisco is experiencing some of the best weather it's ever had. And you all know as San Franciscans, it doesn't last very long. <laughs> so part of what I want people to do is I want them to enjoy the city. I want them to have a good time. I want them to support Chinatown. I want them to make sure that we don't let something that is not at a state of alarm impact how we live our daily lives. We have been communicating with the public every step of the way. It's important that we do that so that we protect the community. And I want to be clear that nothing is more important to us than public health and public safety. And that's why we have communicated with the public every step of the way as we see occurrences happening with the coronavirus, not just around the world, but anywhere in the Bay Area. And so what we don't want to happen is we don't want our communities to suffer as a result of it. We don't want people to live in fear. We don't want people to cancel their engagements. We want people to continue to come together and to continue to support our business community. Continue your gatherings and other events that you have coordinated, and we will continue to make sure that we are doing our very best to keep you informed with any new development. We are here in Chinatown because we support this community. We know that this has also had an impact on our tourism industry as well in the city. San Francisco is open for business. We are prepared to receive people, uh, and we want them to support uh, Chinatown. We want them to support all of the businesses that exist. And I also want to say, um, you know, sadly, uh, there's been a lot of xenophobia as a result of what's been happening. Um, it's impacted young people in our school system. It's impacted elderly people and others throughout San Francisco. And, and I wanna just focus on the fact that there have not been any diagnosed cases here in San Francisco. And I, and I want us to continue to do everything we can. Yes, wash your hands, get your flu shot, do the things that you need to in order to take care of yourself but please try to treat each other fairly and with respect and not let this divide us as a city. Um, so thank you all for being here. Today is a celebration of our businesses. And as I said, there are some incredible businesses here. Uh, they provide some great deals if you're interested. Um, great jewelry, things for the household, hardware stores, tea shops. I mean, you get the best deals in Chinatown anywhere in the city. You can find anything for your household or anything for a party or anything for an event. And there's some robes right here if you need something to sleep in. Um, so thank you all so much. And please continue to support our incredible small businesses. And let's not let this coronavirus continue to divide our city because you know, we have a great opportunity here with this wonderful weather and a number of leaders who are here helping us. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you to the San Francisco uh, Chamber of Commerce, Rodney Fong, and others for your continued support of our business community. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Breed. <clears throat> Thank you for your continued support and looking out for the safety of the city. And may you, you have an opportunity to do a little shopping on your way out today. Well, I got meetings in Chinatown. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Next up, Senator Scott Wiener. Uh, thank you, uh, Rodney. Um, sorry. <laughs> Different heights in the room. Um, 
So uh, I'm really happy to be here today uh, joining with our uh, local leadership as well as our business uh, community leadership uh, to just be really clear that you know we are, uh, I think we are well prepared um, to address uh, the coronavirus, uh, to keep our community uh, safe. Uh, and the, uh, one thing I want to really stress to the public is that San Francisco has the best public health infrastructure in the country, period, end of story. Uh, this is a city uh, that has deeply invested in public health uh, for decades. Uh, we have had epi health epidemics in this city before, uh, most notably uh, the HIV epidemic, and we learned early uh, that we have to have uh, good public health infrastructure. We have the best Department of Public Health uh, in the country, period, end of story. This is a, an agency that knows how to respond quickly and effectively to public health threats. It has incredibly talented health personnel, the best in the country. We also have the best hospitals, whether you're looking at San Francisco General or UCSF, um, or CPMC, we have strong hospital infrastructure in this city. We have the best physicians in this city. Uh, this is a city that has, we have a robust system of community clinics. So San Francisco of any city is a city that is prepared uh, to respond to public health threats and to keep our community healthy. So as the governor said, um, we don't want to either overreact or underreact. Coronavirus is very serious, and we have to take it seriously. We can't dismiss it. But it, by the same token, we have to continue to lead our lives. We can't just shut down and curl up in a ball. This is not the first uh, virus uh, that will affect our community, and it won't be the last. We have to have a smart public health response, and I am confident that San Francisco and California uh, working together and working with the CDC will have that response. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next, uh, Assemblyman David Chu, please. Thank you. I'm gonna adjust it slightly. Good afternoon. Uh, as the first Chinese American to represent Chinatown at City Hall and in our state legislature, I want to thank everyone for convening in the most historic and the oldest Chinatown in our country, and also the social and cultural capital of the Chinese American community here in Northern California. Let me bring a slightly different perspective to this conversation. In the last couple of weeks, I have been in conversations with my counterparts, Asian American elected officials from Boston, from New York, from Los Angeles, Everyone, we are all sharing the experience that we are seeing our Chinatowns decimated by the fear-mongering, the rumors of the impact of the coronavirus. And it is so important for all of us to be gathering together as we are today. I want to take a moment and thank Mayor Breed, our Department of Public Health, our Department of Emergency Management, uh, and our Board of Supervisors for moving forward with a declaration that will allow us to prepare uh, in the case that something happens. It is always better to be overprepared than underprepared. And I also want to thank all the community partners that we have here, from the San Francisco Chamber to Facebook, uh, to our nonprofit partners, George, thank you, and others for ensuring that we are doing the right thing. But we need to make sure that, as was already said, we are moving forward. Uh, and we're here to say, shop in Chinatown, eat in Chinatown, dine in Chinatown. Last night, I organized an event, actually, ironically, at VIP Cafe, uh, to bring folks from around the Bay uh, to eat dim sum together. Uh, we need to eat more dim sum. We need to eat more dinners. We need to, I need to buy my wife more gifts from this store. Um, these are the sorts of things that we have to do because this is a special community and we cannot use the fact of, again, of rumors and fears to keep things back. Um, we all have heard too much about xenophobia, about racism, and some unfortunate hate crimes recently. In part, our message today is about that, but it is also about implicit bias, and it's about more subtle things. It's about people making an unconscious decision not to go into a particular neighborhood. I'm gonna mention one little anecdote. I'm not gonna call out a particular media organization, but there may have been a mainstream media organization then when shortly the coronavirus came out, and shortly there was one case reported in California, not here in San Francisco, the photograph that was used in that publication 
was a photograph of San Francisco's Chinatown. That does not send the message that we want to send. We are open for business, and we are here as leaders in this city to say, again, there is not a single case in our city. We have to support our businesses. We are here to support the best Chinatown in the country. And uh, with that, I want to also, again, thank everyone uh, for taking part in this. Thank you. Rodney. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up, Tain Chen, who has been here for a very long time, and many of you know the walk shop right across the street. It's been here since I've been a kid. So please come up and, uh, and, and share with us uh, what it is to be a small business owner here on Grant Avenue. Oh, what an honor. I'm uh, overcome with, uh, with emotion to be here with the mayor and the assemblyman and Rodney and all. This is quite an honor, and I wasn't expecting this, but let me just tell you a little bit about Chinatown because I'm here 24-7 for 52 years. It has, there has been a downturn in business, but we're all upbeat. We know it's going, we'll, we'll rise above that. Chinatown still is traditional. It's very generational. It's very cultural. There's no place in America that has a Chinatown like San Francisco. So please, everybody, spread the word. It's safe. We welcome you. And uh, look at our weather. Look at our places to shop, our places to eat. Everything's safe. Please come back and support us. Thank you. Next up, someone else who knows about Chinatown, George uh, Chan with uh, Chinese Newcomer Services. George. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is George Chan, the Executive Director of Chinese Newcomer Service Center. We are a local nonprofit and have been here in Chinatown for 50 years. At CNSC, uh, we focus on helping the Chinese immigrants from resident, workers, and also the local business owner. Thank you, Facebook, for offering this uh, uh, funding. So uh, with this funding, we will produce, uh, distribute, and uh, um, share the, uh, a campaign called Shop Local Ad Campaign uh, to boost the economic in Chinatown. So um, we heard a lot of feedbacks in recent weeks about the uh, coronavirus has been impacting our uh, community, Chinatown. But we want to be clear, Chinatown does not have any uh, reported cases of coronavirus and we are open for business. We also want to thank um, Mayor London Beat, uh, Senator Scott Wiener, Assembly Member Derek Chiu, and Warren Form from Ch Chamber of Commerce, and everyone here for their work in helping this uh, small business community and being part of this uh, initiative. Together, I look forward to helping bring business back to the committee and make this campaign a huge success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great, thank you. <clears throat> Facebook has been an important partner for all the neighborhoods here, neighborhoods here in San Francisco. I want to invite uh, Michael Matthews from Facebook. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mayor, for the applause. <laughs> um, good afternoon. Uh, first, I want to, it's a, an honor to be with this great leadership of San Francisco and the Bay Area here, every one of them, um, stepping forward, showing us the way, how to, how to in, in good times and challenging times, how to be better citizens than better of our nature. So I appreciate your leadership on all that. Uh, it has been a, a cornerstone of Facebook to be partnering with small business internationally, nationally, and specifically in California and San Francisco. Uh, about 140 million small businesses use the platform to communicate, market, encourage, uh, improve their businesses. We've been partnering with the Chinese Newcomer uh, Organization for three years or so, um, in helping them in terms of promoting small business specifically in Chinatown. Uh, and again, we are, we are proud to be a part of this effort to support them with a grant to do even more communication, create more ads, and we're also going to grant uh, Facebook credits for you to be, whether you choose to use that in Facebook credits in that way or any other way you, in terms of using the strategy of, of getting the word out that Chinatown is open and is safe and is important to us. Uh, Senator uh, Wiener specifically made some point I just wanted to underscore about we do take these times seriously. It's important to um, and act appropriately, but it's equally important not to be xenophobic, as everyone talked about, to not be frightened of it and to do our best to bring our communities together. And we're proud to be a part of anything that brings our communities together. So thank you. Thank you. That concludes this press conference. Uh, I think folks might be. You can still shop here. You can still shop here. 
plenty of gifts. And across the street, the walk shop. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, this is just a, a real important call to shop locals. Get out this weekend. It's going to be nice. Spend some money. Eat some food. San Francisco in China. Town in town in San Francisco is open for business. Thank you very much.